far as uh, how the snow has impacted transportation and other other issues of life in Atlanta. We're joined by Atlanta Mayor Kasim Reed, who is on the telephone with us right now. Mayor Reed, can you hear me? I can. How are you, Jeff? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Can you give us an update on how everything is progressing from the standpoint of the city? Well, it seems like we're holding, and, and although traffic was certainly tough, people are getting home uh, in, in a pretty decent fashion. Um, the streets are, are not freezing yet, and we're just coordinating with GDOT and encouraging everyone to get home calmly and to stay home. Uh, at the state level, we made the decision not to close uh, early today because that would have caused uh, thousands uh, more vehicles to actually get into the midst of traffic. And then a lot of private sector businesses would have closed immediately as well. And that would have created, you know, the kind of bad challenges we had in the past. Um, since 3 p.m., we've applied about 57 tons of salt, about 20, 1,250 gallons of brine. We were able to treat all of our priority one and two bridges. We were also able to make sure that our fire stations and our police precincts and our hospitals are covered. So we will be working around the clock. There are 11 crews that we work, will be working 24 hours a day uh, to get the city back open in the morning. And Mayor, this is Faith Abube now asking you a question here. As you talk to your crews in the field, what challenges are they facing out there right now? Well, the challenges really are off of the major arterials in the neighborhoods. And so, candidly, we haven't been reaching those because we had to make sure that the major thoroughfares were uh, passable so that everyone could get home safely. And certainly, uh, our school children who were on school buses needed to have clean routes. Mm -hmm. So folks can expect us to get to those kind of off streets later. Right now, we're just focused on uh, major arterials, and we're focused on making sure that we have close coordination with GDOT to, to get people home before the, before the roads freeze. The lessons learned from about four years ago really are pronounced when you take a look at, at the choreography between city and state and GDOT and just everybody's on the same page, that once the weather starts to deteriorate, everybody in government seems to be moving very well and, and very quickly these days. Yeah, we definitely learned a great deal of lessons and really just have to coordinate and be in sync and agreement. Um, we were working with uh, Russell McMurray, who's done an outstanding job at GDOT. We were monitoring uh, the temperature on the streets, and as long as the roads were above freezing, we felt that it was best that people got out and that we just allowed them to continue to go home and that we didn't make a formal announcement that would have forced even more people onto the roadways. So the 9,000 people who work at the city of Atlanta didn't go on the roads. Uh, the 20,000 people that the state has downtown didn't get on the roads. And we think that that, that cleared throughput for, for everybody else. Plus, since we run governments, we should be at work anyway. You know, Mayor, in a few weeks, you don't have to worry about any of this stuff. You can just no, have a... No, I don't. <laughs> I don't think they're going to have any snow in the Bahamas, Jeff. No, that's right. You just go to Falcon Gate and forget all that stuff. But you still have to deal with it, because I'm hoping you still stay in the city. Yeah, well, I'm telling you, Faith, I'm right here at work. I'm in my office at City Hall right now. All right. All right. Mary, thanks for being with us. We appreciate your time. All right. I'll see you. Okay. Bye.